Hey guys, Alex here, and I'm going to do a vlog for you guys. And I have three topics to discuss, and then some. And I guess the first topic will be this Kickstarter um, thing called a cinematic album. I'll talk about that. Um, I'm going to talk about a book recommendation. recommendation. And three, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the, th the season three premiere of uh, Once Upon a Time. And then I'll talk about other random stuff. So uh, the first topic... Um, this is interesting. I ran into these uh, local um, aspiring voice actors in town, and uh, they were starting up this thing they call a cinematic album. It's basically storytelling with music involved. So it's music, but there's actually a story pushing the music along. Um, it's hard to explain. Um, I don't want to say Disney. I mean, there is a story, but and there is music involved in it. But it's not really that. It's kind of like a podcast. And um, you basically just kind of, uh, you know, use your imagination. I mean, they are, like, trying to, uh, you know, get funds to make art for their, uh, I guess, podcast type thing. It's not really a podcast either. It's, it's hard to explain. They call it a cinematic album. But it's really good. The, uh, the actors are really talented. But um reason why... I'm interested in this. It's called Kingdoms and Legends: The Fall of Arcadia. I'll put the link in the uh, in the description so you can you can check it out. Um, the uh, the head guy puts up a uh, a five minute um, like spiel about what his uh, what the cinematic album is all about. It's called Kingdoms and Legends: The Fall of Arcadia. It's kind of like a, a fantasy. Well, it is a fantasy, and uh, it's really hard to explain. You have to watch the little thing, but reason why I'm interested in this is because I was also interested in doing something very similar to what they're doing, but um, their story is about, what is their story about? Well, it's hard to explain, just watch the video. Well, here, here's a description. The Fall of Arcadia chronicles the harrowing journey of young Aluska, the son of King Kraken, who has been recently orphaned by the tyranny of the Empire Bank, rescued by Odin, the loyal captain of the Kingsguard. Alushka flees Arcadia in the hopes of coming back to reclaim his, his home, but making his own path in a world without his father will prove to be a more dangerous adventure than young Alushka bargained for. So uh, that's their basic story and premise, um, but there's music involved. The music sounds pretty cool. It's kind of like a, like heavy rock, I suppose, or uh, I don't know what you call it these days. Um, but I was interested in that because I wanted to do something where you would follow the adventures of the Prince of Macedon. I mean, I'm the Prince of Macedon, but I want to feature it in a more ancient setting. And I would put artwork into it, too. So it, you would see what I was envisioning in my head, and then I'll, I can tell stories that are more mythic. And, I don't know, this is awesome stuff. Kind of like a cartoon, I suppose. A cartoon with music in it, but uh, with, without the cartoon aspect, I suppose. Without the animation, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, I've always wanted to do something like that, and um, these guys are pretty passionate about their, their project here. So uh, they are asking for, um, I guess, donations of any of any kind. Like, I'll probably... Well, I just pledged five bucks already, and um, I think their target goal is $20,000. Um, so five dollars, like, even from one person, is a lot. Because if one person does that... No, if a lot of people do it, like, let's say 200 people pledge five, five bucks, that's a lot of money right there. So every little helps, and I, I believe in their project. So I'm gonna donate the, some some money to them, and I hope their uh, their program kicks off because if it's successful, uh, maybe I can do something similar to it. If I have you know the uh, the crew, the talent, um, the time to do it, but I want to see them succeed, and they are local. So yeah, um, I want you guys to check them out too. Um, Check it out. It's called Kingdom of Legend to Fall of Arcadia. And once again, the link will be in the description. All right, that was my first topic. My second topic, my book recommendation. Um, some of you guys are following my uh, Rome 2 channel. Well, I, what's this called? My my gaming channel, which at the, at the moment, Rome 2 is my, my featured baby here. <laughs> but uh, related to Rome 2, I got this book. It's called... It's not my book. I bought this book. It's called The Elephant in the Greek and Roman World, and it's written by Scullard, S-C-U-L-L-A-R-D. And the book is out of print, but I believe you can find it, like, 
at libraries at, at a university. You have to look it up. Or you can check eBay, perhaps. I better find it that way. But basically, it just talks about the use of uh, elephants in ancient warfare during uh, you know, the ancient Greek and Roman, Roman times. It starts off, I think, with Alexander the Great. Well, actually, it starts off with the history of elephants and then general Greek knowledge of the elephants. They talk about Alexander as his successors. Then you talk about Pyrrhus. The Seleucid Ptolemies, then Carthage, Rome, whatnot. And, uh, yeah. This book is just dedicated to elephants in uh, Greek and Roman warfare. So, if any of you are fascinated in that aspect of ancient warfare, then check this book out, because I don't know of any other books that deal with this. I mean, this, this guy, like, he really researches this he researches the heck out of this topic, and it's a very well-written book. It's pretty old, though, but it's still very much in vogue with, with today, if you like this kind of thing. So definitely recommend this book, and I'll put the name of this book in the uh, video description. And third, um, I watched the, uh, the season three premiere of Once Upon a Time, and it was amazing. As you guys know, if you watched my last vlog, I am a huge fan of... Once Upon a Time is part of my, my guilty confessions. Because I don't think I'm part of their target demographic, but this is excellent storytelling. I believe, um, I don't know who had a hand in this. Let's see. Oh, the writers of Lost had a hand in this. So if you liked Lost, then you'll probably like this too. It's really clever writing. I've never seen Lost myself, but yeah, the writing's fantastic. There's always some kind of twist, but you can't start in the middle of a season. you got to start from the very beginning, otherwise you're going to miss a detail that's important later on. So you get to keep watching each episode, uh, each episode successfully, in succession. That's what I meant. Um, but yeah, the season three premiere was amazing. Um, there's gonna be spoilers here. Well, not really. It's just well, it kind of is. Um, but if you've watched the first two seasons, then if you go into the third season here, the first episode, uh, you'll know that some of the main characters have banded together to find. Um, no, you know, I'm not going to include spoilers, but they're going to find somebody, and they have to travel to a new land. This isn't the Enchanted Forest, and this isn't modern-day Earth. This is a new land. And uh, one of the uh, characters has a lot of experience in this land, because he was a pirate there. That's kind of a spoiler, I guess. But it's, it's fantastic. Um, Regina has a lot of great one-liners, um, and, and you can see some of the bad guys and the good guys, you know, band together and see them work as a team. And, of course, you see more Rumpelstiltskin. Um, it's, it's just like watching the first two seasons. It's very consistent with the quality. Um, it's very, very excellent. And, uh, and you'll see a new character. I mean, you already know he's coming, but you don't see him until this episode. So I highly recommend Once Upon a Time. And now that I brought up a TV show, which I love, this is probably my favorite TV show this year so far. I want to also recommend uh, watching uh, Sleepy Hollow, which is hard to explain. It's kind of like grim, I suppose. It's like police. It's the police, um, like investigating like supernatural things in Sleepy Hollow, and um, it kicks off with the uh, the headless horseman being uh, the main villain, but. Um, yeah, each new case is a new, a new bad guy, I suppose. But yeah, I'm helping out the police is a guy named Ichabod, Ichabod Crane. You might know of him if you if you read about Sleepy Hollow. Um, it's cool because he's he's still wearing his uh, his gear from the from the Revolutionary War, and it sounds ridiculous, but seeing him wear it in the TV show, it, it you know they pull it off without being too cheesy. And um, it, it's just great seeing how this guy from from the 18th century interacts with uh, you know with modern day society because he he still talks like like he's from that time, and um, it, it it could be funny, it could be great. It, it's usually, it's usually funny the way he's freaked, he's freaked out by by you know modern things that are happening in today's society. So that's a great show. What else is good? Um, of course, uh, Book of Core is awesome, but I've, I've missed the last two episodes, and they only play one episode a week. Like, they don't have reruns. At least I haven't seen any, so... That kind of blows for me, but I don't know how to catch them. I don't have Netflix, I don't have Hulu. I'm one of those old-school people who gets all of his videos 
on DVD or watches on TV. I'm old school, guys. Um, what else? Hmm. Oh, uh, Thursday, October 10th, there's a new show coming out. It's a spinoff of Once Upon a Time. This one's called Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. And, of course, it deals with Alice in Wonderland, that, that setting. And, uh, yeah, I want to recommend that. If you liked Once Upon a Time. Anyways, uh, another topic. I guess we'll make this an unofficial fourth topic. Um, this weekend I'm going to Tampa. There's a uh, convention called ShadowCon. And I think it's pretty minor. But there's going to be some voice actors there. I want to get their autographs and pictures. So I'm probably going Saturday or Sunday. If you're going, um, write a message somewhere. and um, Or actually, if you just see me there, just say hi. Um... Don't call me Prince of Macedon, call me Alex, because if you call me Prince of Macedon in public, they, they might look at you funny. So call me Alex, or Lex, or Al, or Awesome A, or A-OK. -okay. No, no, call me Alex. That's, let's not get dumb. So yeah, um, this is a random vlog, and that's random stuff. You know me, I'm, I'm a random person. But anyways, I check out the video description for the uh, the book recommendation title and the uh, the link to that that Kickstarter thing, the jiggy. And um, I'll see you guys later. I'll be posting a uh, a Total War video soon. It's gonna be a Swayby versus the Arverni. I'm gonna post a vlog first though. So.